All right, joining us now to talk about all of these Middle East developments is Thane Rosenbaum. Thane is a Middle East analyst. Thane, good to have you on the show with us again. Always, Michelle. All right, let's start off by tackling the political landscape in Israel. How do you think these mergers from the right, from the left, and perhaps even more significantly from the Arab parties are going to impact the next election? It's gotten even more exciting. Um, it does seem in the polling that uh, Gantz has dropped a little, uh, Netanyahu has raised a little. It does appear that the alliances have worked in a way that returns Shaked into a kingmaker role. It's possible that her role now in aligning her nationalist right. parties with the religious parties uh, might, in fact, ice out, freeze out Liberman's power. He, he, up until now, he was sitting in, in a driver's seat. I'm not sure, Michelle, whether the alliances on the left bring in enough total votes for Gantz. So is this looking for, better for Netanyahu now? I, I think so. I, and it's so interesting because Shaked didn't even make it after the last elections. Uh, her party with Naftali Bennett failed to meet the 3.25 percent threshold. And here she is, as you say, in a kingmaker position. She runs the table. Uh, she actually, by, but by this very smart calculation, she right. said, look, the one thing that Lieberman can't do, because he's already on record, he can't stand the religious parties. He's opposed to all their rules. He's opposed to their unwillingness to serve in the, in the army. Uh, and so therefore she's saying, look, if I can join with some of the religious parties, we can create a real a unity right wing that I can combine with Netanyahu, and then that's an ultimate win. What do you make of that slip, if you will, or hearing mistake, as he subsequently excused it, from Benny Gantz, saying that he is open to a national coalition government, a national unity government, rather, with Prime Minister Netanyahu or with Likud, and this sort of backtracking. Does it seem like that is going to be the result anyway? You know, I don't think he's, I don't think he's going to be joining up with Netanyahu, that's for sure. I do think that he had his own preference. I think for him, he wants to be, he, you know, for him, he came out of nowhere. And he sort of at one point had some uh, electoral support, and right. he wants to preserve it. And so I think he's saying, look, I want to be in government in some capacity. But the people that are behind him are saying, no way, nobody. W the problem is no one really wants to align with the prime minister, even though he's been phenomenally successful, and he's going to remain as the prime minister. I want to get your thoughts on what we're seeing with UNRWA, the Palestinian Refugee Agency. As we mentioned, now we have Belgium joining Switzerland and Holland from pulling funding from the agency. Corruption at the agency has actually long been established, but there's always been the argument that it in fact perpetuates the Palestinian-Israeli conflict by the way that it defines a refugee, because it is the only refugee agency to classify as refugees descendants of the Palestinians that left or were forced to leave uh, their homes You're during right. the state of Israel. No other refugee agency does this. And because of that, it's been known or seen as an impediment to peace. So do you think this could finally see the agency ending? Well, you're quite right. First of all, that it is astonishing. And the United Nations, the burden is always on refugees to end that status after one generation. It's only the Palestinians that get a lifetime perpetual endless psych recycling of refugee status. Uh, this is a huge story, right. uh, Michelle, and I'll tell you why. Because it's consistent with what you're seeing out of the Trump administration. The luster on Palestinians has faded. They are really being held accountable. Even their refugee organization is being held accountable. They've, for years, right. recognized that this was a corrupt organization, but only now are they conducting well, internal investigations. This could be a game changer. Thane, thank you so much. Thane Rosenbaum. Thank you, Michelle.